I think I'm unpacking a lot about myself while watching this. Oh, I'm ready to die for this shit. What up? I'm Fat Tony and this is Thrift Hall, a competitive fashion show where two people compete to find the best outfit on a budget. Today we're at Goodwill Southern California. Let's see what the f we can find. What up? It's Thrift Hall. Today we got these two n****s going to a 90s theme party and they gotta get fresh. First up, we got multidisciplinary artist and writer Nagasi Armada and comedian and illustrator Zach Fox. Bro, where'd he even start? I'm so excited. What the f*** is going on? The contestants go head to head for three rounds. First round, fashion trivia. Second round, uh, what the f*** you call it? <laughs> Second round, competitive thrift store shopping. And third round, a haul show. My guest, Patty Harrison, and I decide who wore it best. Is there anything y'all looking for? I want a Wayne Gretzky jersey, ideally. I would love anything. Looney Tunes affiliated. You trying to impress anybody tonight? I know that if uh, I'm going to a 90s theme party that it was organized by a white woman, so I'm really just gonna try and ingratiate myself with the host. I feel that. Here's what's at stake. The winner gets to keep their outfit, but the loser has to return everything in shame. But that's not all. The winner gets to choose an outfit for the loser that they must take a pic of, put it on their Instagram, and they cannot delete that shit. Ever? Ever. What's your Instagram like? Kind of like a thirst trap for art thoughts. So I'm gonna take this really seriously. Zach, what's your Instagram looking like? Pretty much only cater my Instagram to my mom, who's a fire and brimstone Southern Baptist woman. Mm. So I can't really be out there looking at uh... Can't no foul showing. Yeah, no. I am the champion of clothing. If you know me, you know that. I'll go in the trash and come out with a look. This got on a gray beanie. That should tell you everything you need to know. First off, I'm really into kundalini sex magic. So I wear my hat like a condom tip, which keeps all of my sexual energy trapped inside of my head and recycling through my soul, which keeps me strong. Are y'all down to die for this Oh, I'm ready to die for this I'm gonna be dead fresh, die for this <laughs> You ready for round one? Let's do it. Let's, Let's get do it. it. Round one is gonna be trivia questions all about fashion. Each of you start with two minutes on the clock. Get an answer correct and you get 30 seconds added to your time. Don't f it up. What's the preferred way to wear overalls in the 90s? One a strap hanging down. <laughs> Coming out the gate. <laughs> Pelly Pellies. Iconic leather jackets from some of hip hop's greats. Big L Ward, 50 Cent Ward, Raekwon. Which modern day artist is known for sporting Pelly Pelly? A. Post Malone. B. French Montana. C. Lil Uzi Vert. Or D. Cardi B. I'm gonna go with my gut. Let's go. The answer's French Montana. I just picked the I hate the most. <laughs> <laughs> 90 snapbacks. NWA was notorious for supporting which West Coast team? A, the Raiders, B, the Lakers, C, the Broncos, or D, the Chargers? What is it? You both got it right. Put 30 seconds on their clocks. Bonus points if you can do the cabbage patch. <laughs> we started in unison and silence, serious as like some Oopa Loopas. <laughs> Baby shoes, also known as Mary Jane's. Where did the name derive from? Is that a pimp? <laughs> I'm Baby Shoes. <laughs> a, the makers of peanut butter taffy candy. B, the folk story Juana Maria. C, the comic strip Buster Brown. Or D, stoners and hippies who like wearing the shoes. What you got? Nagasa gets another point. What? I just wanted to say Buster Brown. Buster Brown. They were shoes worn by the character Mary Jane. Baby shoes. Mm. The winner of round one is Nagasi Armada. Nagasi, you get to choose. You want to go first or do you want to send Zach out there? I think I'm going to let Zach go first. I'm fast. I don't know. So it's, it's all good. <laughs> Y'all about to be hopping over the racks. <laughs> Let's hit this good one. This is my 90s attire for the night. A kid on Instagram DM'd me, came to my show, gave it to me, made it himself, very DIY. And it's just like a good rip on Thrasher, you know, which I think is the most abused skate brand of all time. I see kids wearing it constantly that might have never even touched a Thrasher magazine a day in their life. And most of them are f***ing losers. Hey everyone, my name is Patty Harrison. I'm a fashion expert and I'll be judging some of the looks that the uh, contestants throw together today. Trying to, you know, keep my expectations low because I know that people as uh, an organism are designed to disappoint. I think I got it, honestly. I'm a 90s mother this is my element. My strategy right now is just like 90s chimera. I'm going for anything that reminds me of the 90s. 
grunge, hip hop, baggy shit, Bobby Brown, Whitney Houston being on crack on national television. I'm going for that, so I think I got this We love you, Zach Fox. One, two, three, go! It's our turn, daddy. Gator fuzz with pimped out Gucci fuzz. Gliding with limp feet through the aisles. Mm. He's a limp glider. Mm. I don't understand what you mean by that. <laughs> The, the worst shirt right off the bat. <laughs> oh, oh, what do you got there? You got some hood Looney Tunes. Okay, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I would love anything Looney Tunes affiliated. Yeah, I get some big ass pants. All right. That's that. Okay, now he's just retracing where he was. Very uh, w wasteful. He's with some coats. Okay. Is that a backpack? Okay. He's in the hardware I'm section. I'm trying to impress everybody by moving all fast, but this isn't a foot race. It's fashion. He has a helmet on. Freaking out. Okay, okay. Actually, he's coming with what seems to be a helmet on. Oh. Okay. Five, four, you can't do three, it. You can't do two. It. <laughs> You're done. I got this big ass jacket. Looks like some that Tupac would have wore in juice. Size uh, 38, boot cut jeans. I don't know why I grabbed this. It seems like some that like CC Penison would wear. My favorite thing, Toy Story book bag, 90s gel, like you can really poke it and it's tactile. Feels like you almost want to eat it. It's got that Tide Pod, uh, je ne sais quoi. Helmets to me are very evocative of the 90s because of X Games. My favorite movie was Brink. Yeah, so Team Pup and Suds. I unknowingly, uh, stole Nagasi's basketball shorts that I think he wanted to get. A 90s kid that like watched anime would kind of wear this shirt, I don't know. The Hood Looney Tunes, very essential to black culture, I think. I wish they were all dressed up like civil rights leaders, like if Bugs Bunny was Malcolm X. And I don't know who the Tasmanian devil looks like. Who's a short civil rights leader? Fred Hampton or something, RIP, thank you. How'd you feel about Zach Fox, his technique, his selections? What I love about Zach Fox is that he goes fully by his first name and his last name. Mm. What I didn't like about Zach Fox was all the choices he made in this game. Bad and nonsensical, he was flying around the aisles, went beyond my line of sight that scared me. Fox. If you had to pick one that you sort of liked, mm -hmm. which item would it be? I liked the Looney Tune shirt. Nostalgia's great. I liked the backpack. As he said, it had a glaze to it in the way that makes you want to eat it, and I agree. I feel like the helmet and the backpack kind of go together. I definitely think it was a great choice if Zach Fox ever decides to take my life. Mm. Let's see how Nagasi Armada does. Oh, I'm so excited. Just being a person that can take water and turn it into wine, I have the utmost confidence that this will be a Pomeranian stroll. Time to get this outfit that's gonna change my life. One, two, three, go! Mm. Okay, he's backtracking, I like that. Okay. Oh, he's not with it. See, mm. I don't like that because there are employees here, to, yeah, that will have to clean up after his, yeah. his violent mess. It's not as smooth over here. Um, Nagasi's doing it an awful job. And you know what I'm learning about myself uh, through this experiment is that when I'm put on the spot to, uh, you know, observe something, I'm just very mean. And I think that's saying more about, like, myself. I think I'm unpacking a lot about myself while watching this. <laughs> He's gone. He's out of frame. I have nothing to comment on. I'm just going to start talking about, like, my father's death. Like, going to start talking about growing up in, in Ohio. All, all my friends, how they, like, there was an exodus. I was manipulative. I thrived in power dynamics, and I hurt a lot of people on purpose, never said sorry. They reached out, said that they forgave me even though I never said sorry. I said more mean things. Is, is that more indicative of your inner power struggle and getting over things that you need to get over? Or is it something that they did? Or? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know, I haven't thought about it. Mm. Big, 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 big old shorts. Top. Okay, he's back. He's got a full cart. He isn't wearing shoes with great tread. Mm. I've noticed he's slid everywhere. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, 
two, one. And a beautiful spin. So, the first thing that caught my eye, recovering Christian Tori Amos 96. At this time in the world, we're all recovering our Christian values. 96 was in the 90s. It's relevant. This is my favorite look, like a little bit radical. Lazy, like yacht patio boy meets like chill granny, like granny on the block. It's like the episode of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air when um, they were filming that video in the house and everybody was dancing around in pajamas with Belle Biv DeVoe and then they ruined the house. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I like this look a lot because it's kind of like a Lenny Kravitz 90s vibe. Estranged Hollywood young father. You need to wear a lot of rings with this outfit. Indigenous appropriative true religion thing going on in the back. Faux religion, that's what we'll call it. All right, now it's time to get fly. Uh, he truly chose an unwearable outfit. I think there was a lot of, uh, you know, character in what he chose. Yes. He picked that shirt, the Tori Amos shirt, and it has the year on it. Um, it's a hard time stamp in the 90s. I like the absentee father Lenny Kravitz look. You know, the pockets do have that weird cultural appropriation, which we love. Very trendy. We love, in 2018, we love cultural appropriation, so I thought that was very cool. He picked one garment that is nearly 14 feet long. Is it over everything? I don't have an imagination about it. Let's see how he wears it. First up, Nagasi Armada. Hmm, look at that strut. The shoes, um, I don't feel that they really add a lot. He's wearing the cultural appropriation pants. Which is the lacy Lenny Kravitz top. Yes, somewhat see-through. I can see some titties. If it's more about capturing the essence of a time, mm -hmm. then I'm feeling a lot of 70s. Feeling more 70s than 90s. I would say cultural appropriation is bigger than ever. It's amazing how Nagasi was able to stay on trend here at Goodwill. What made you choose this outfit? Um, I just wanted to like bring a kind of like a casual incense Lakeith Stanton vibe. Casual Nog Champa with goals. Nagasi Armada, thank you very much. Let's take a look at Zach Fox. Wow. Well damn. Okay. Where well, do we begin? Forgot the bag had its wheels. He has no shoes and he's having trouble walking. You know, he's really bringing the sag back. I like the baggy look. Yeah, I like the layering of the short under the pants. I don't know if this is screaming 90s to me. We're seeing another kind of like translucent shirt as we saw in Nagasi. Is it in? I don't think so. There's a lot of subtext, you know, there's a lot of story to this look, which I'm very intrigued by, because I love theater. I like how versatile the outfit is. He has the mesh shirt if it's too warm, mm -hmm. or the jacket if it's too chilly. What was the inspiration for this outfit? My whole idea was just a, a complete uh, 90s chimera. CeCe Peniston, mm. Kathy Dennis, mm. Juice, mm. Bishop, R.I.P., <laughs> Wu-Tang Clan, <laughs> basketball <laughs> shorts. Can you, can you elaborate why you're not wearing shoes? I knew a lot of in the 90s who didn't really ride running around barefoot, man. It was a wild time. Thank you, Zach Fox. So, Patty, if you had to choose one, okay. who would it be? Nagasi's outfit is a real outfit. Mm. That is something he could actually wear. If he walked in here wearing that, I would be like, oh, he's well-dressed. He looks really cool. He's got good, like, personal taste. Yeah. If uh, Zach Fox walked in in that outfit. I would think he was there to take my life. I do love that the outfit had a lot of story to it. He had emotional connections to each piece. We didn't fully get as much in Nagasi's outfit. If it were up to me, okay. some would say it is. I would pick Zach Fox. His outfit, I was with it. Uh, the basketball shorts beneath the jeans really brought me back to a place early in my life that uh, made me feel at home. He did not wear shoes, and shoes are very important, but also gumption and daring are important too, especially in 2018. In that regard, I do think Zach Fox had uh, the better outfit. We've got a winner. As the winner of this episode of Thrift Hall, we need you to pick out an outfit for the loser, Nagasi, to wear. That's gonna be pretty hard, considering his Instagram is already a flame for the moths who are hipster women. Um, so I'm gonna have to try really hard to find something that he won't like. Good luck. Yeah. Please destroy him. Patty, thank you so much. Thank you.
This is Thrift Hall signing off. Much love to Zach and Nagasi for f***ing with the kid. Comment below on who you think should have won. And comment on what you think the next episode should be about. A, dog park casual, but I still look hot. B, Tinder date at Taco Bell. Or C, Amigos concert. Salute.